Welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list. So if you are new with the list, please take a look to the previous one because they are all connected. Today we will see how to make a Node MCU or ESP8266 get an information from another end Node MCU. One board will act as a server, so I plug there a photoresistor. For every HTTP request, the server will send the value of the photoresistor. The client will send a request every uh, 5 seconds. He will get an answer and we will clear the answer and we will convert it into an integer. First, I will connect to my network. We already saw that. I will display also the IP of the board and I will make it act as a server. Here, for every connection, I will send an answer with the value of the photoresistor. Now, I will upload my program and open the serial monitor to get the IP address. I will send now a request from the browser and see if the server is working well. This is a normal value. Now I'm hiding the photoresistor. And now I'm back to a normal value. Let's move to the client part. I will delete the server blocks. I will use this block, send request with the answer. I will also declare a string variable where I will put the answer. First, I will display the answer as I got it. Uh, it will be uh, HTML text. After that, I will clear the HTML tag with the clear uh, block to get only a string uh, um, of uh, numbers. In the end, I will convert uh, the text onto an integer. For that, I will declare a new variable.
to show that my variable is well converted I will uh, increment this value uh, by uh, 2000 and show it on the serial monitor I added here a delay block to send a request every 5 seconds. Don't forget also to put the address of the server. Now I can upload my program. Now you can see the value before deleting the HTML tags and after deleting. After that you will see that the value increased by 2000 which means that my conversion uh, worked well. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon in a new video. Bye.